I'm John McClellan, and this is the Poor Choice video series where I drink the worst liquor in the world every week. Welcome to the show. Now, what qualifies as a worst liquor? Well, first of all, it has to taste bad. And secondly, and more importantly, it has to be something I don't understand why people drink it. That's where the story starts on the show. But it's not just bad booze that mystifies me. Beef jerky, for example. I'm stumped on that too. You have a piece of beef that's juicy and tender, and then you remove the juicy and the tender. Jerky would make more sense if you saved the juicy and tender that you took out for later when I'm eating jerky. So why am I talking about beef jerky on a show about liquor? Did they make some kind of booze out of it? Kind of. And that's what we're drinking today on the show. The beef jerky of alcohol. Shambord. Now, if your head is spinning a little bit after that first segment, it should be. Let me stop the spinning by explaining myself. Cherbourg is a French liqueur that is an infusion of the world's finest raspberries, blackberries, black raspberries, vanilla, and cognac. In essence, they've gathered the best fruits and alcohols on the planet and removed the tender and the juicy, making it the beef jerky and booze. At least you could have beef jerky on its own. Nobody's drinking Shambord on its own, unless you're playing a juice cleanse drinking game with the ants from the Geico commercial. Shambord is something you put in a drink to give it the illusion of elegance. A French martini, a Pierre Imperial sounds so posh, and then a standard backup option is to ask your bartender to make after they're done laughing at you for ordering a pina colada. It's not elegant, it's raspberry schnapps in a better zip code. The perception is that Shamborg is top shelf booze because it sits on the top shelf. It's only there because this round bottle doesn't fit anywhere else. Bartenders hate this stuff. The bottles are pain in the ass. You have to hold it with two hands when you pour it, and that slows you down. As a matter of fact, if you ever see a bartender flipping a bottle of Shamborg, it slipped out of their hands. This is a liqueur that was supposedly made for French kings and tried to invoke the mystique that items made in France are luxurious. You know what else was originally made in France? Mayonnaise and scooters. So when I see something from France, I don't think luxury. I think they're trying to kill us. Now, I've had Chambourg on the show idealist for a while, but frankly, I'm ashamed to be seen with the stuff. As a matter of fact, I didn't even buy it myself. I waited outside the liquor store like I was 15, waiting for somebody that looked cool to buy me beer. However, in this case, it wasn't somebody who looked cool that I was waiting on. I needed a person that looks like they drink this stuff. So I waited out there about four and a half hours until some woman with an emotional support animal came along. It reminds me of eating Skittles that have been melted on a car dashboard. And it's about as elegant of an experience as pushing a stroller up a gravel driveway. Oh, it's not sitting well at all. If you don't see me post a show next week, make sure you put was last seen drinking Shamborg on my missing person poster. If you see a bottle of Shamborg in someone's house, get out of there. This bottle is up there with a stuffed animal collection or a jar full of toenail clippings to let you know you are in a horror movie and you're not going to make it to the credits. You need to run away because Shamborg will give you a hangover for the ages. It's so sweet, you'll drink way more than the suggested serving size. And all that sugar will put so much stress on your liver, it'll shrivel up like a, well, like a piece of beef jerky. <laughs>